Hi and welcome to this edition of Out The Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. This is the Ubiquiti Edge Router, the ER12. So if you've seen any of these before, this is not meant to be a technical overview. It is meant to show you what you've got in the box um, and maybe just a few things of where we think this would fit in your network. So in the box, you are going to get the Edge Router. We're going to look at that a moment. You are going to get the ever getting small get started guide from Ubiquiti. On the back, the hopefully helpful QR code. Remember this device is an on-box managed, i.e. you use a web browser to access it um, and make changes directly on the unit. It doesn't plug into any manageable controllable system like the Unify switches or uh, the USG does. Um, you could though plug this into um, Ubiquiti's UNMS, the Ubiquiti management system as a potential if you wanted to, um, but generally you make the changes there in the router's interface itself. All right, you are going to get um, some wall lugs and screws if you want to mount that on the wall. So I'm going to show you that again in a moment. And you're going to get a power pack, 12 volt power pack. Uh, this is Australia because this is where we are. Um, and here's your 12 volt connector here. Now this device can be PoE powered as well. So why don't we cover that first? So our first port over here is PoE in and our last port over here is PoE out. This is an EdgeMax product, so it means it uses 24 volt passive. But if you want to provide it with a 24 volt passive PoE, then you can power this without it being plugged into the main, so you can get it into a roof void or something else um, like that. It will then on power another device at 24 um, volts uh, PoE as well, so could be useful. Now, let's have a little look at the unit itself. Um, it's made of metal, all right, has no fans in it, um, so. Um, it's vented all the way round. It will fit into the multi-purpose edge um, rack mount kit, which takes the um, ER4 all the way through to the ER12. So it doesn't come with rack ears already, but you can put it into the extra, um, that rack mount kit to be able to put it into the rack. So let's have a look. So we have our console port and then we have our USB port. We've got 10 um, one gig ethernet ports. Um, as standard zero to seven, so the first eight ports there are configured as a switch. Um, so these can be switch ports or they can be router ports. You can have multiple subnets on those ports if you want to. Um, and then we've got two ports up the end, um, the last two here um, that would traditionally be your WAN and LAN in a standard configuration, but obviously you can change those to as you want. You've then got two one gig SFP ports um, and your reset switch or your reset button up the end there. If we flick that round, we have over here our earth um, mounting um, point um, and we have our power um, in. Um, on the bottom, um, you've got your traditional cutouts you can see, um, which obviously are there to be able to wall mount with the lugs that we showed you earlier. So the back plane of this will do about 6.8 gigabits a second. Um, we have this, uh, the baby um, of this one, the ER, um, four on our one gig internet connection here in the office and this will comfortably do one gig by one gig without any problems at all. So this ER12 is going to easily do that. So a great little router, something you might want to think about here. Um, you could put an SFP VDSL modem in here um, and make this um, NBN ready if you're here in Australia um, or fiber ready um, in other parts of the world if you have it de um, delivered on a telephone line. Um, then you can use a small SFP module. It's not a ubiquity one. Um, ProSend uh, PS180-T um, is one module that you could use in there. So look, hopefully that's been useful. That's the Edge Router ER12. I'll just hold that up for you to have um, another look. We have plenty more videos on our YouTube channel, plenty more box openings. We have a load more um, guides on how to get things done with Ubiquiti products, as well as firewalls and other wireless and networking equipment. So please do check that out. I hope that's been useful. My name's Paul.